eyeliners. We all use them, but can we actually draw a straight line? I've researched this. I'm a blind girl. I'm going to show you how I do it. Tips and tricks. <laughs> jump straight into the deep end, right into that pool because let's face it, it's really hot in this room right now and I am melting. I'm going to just draw on my face now. So I'm going to take some micropore tape. You can get this from Boots. It's quite sticky so I'm going to put it on the back of my hand just to get a little bit of stickiness off so it doesn't tear off my foundation when I put it on. I'm going to place it on the outer corner of my eye angled towards the end of my eyebrow. Just making sure that's good, yeah. And then the next bit of micropore on my right eye. Right, let's see if these are the same. No, that one's a bit outward. Okay, I think Queen's are the same. Now I'm gonna just tie my hair back. This point is really easy to work with and we should be doing this quite quickly. I will speed myself up as well. Right, I'm gonna put my one, my left hand finger on the bottom of my lash line. I'm just gonna bring the pen to the middle of my eye. And you've gotta be confident with this, guys. As a blind girl now, I'm gonna to go to my right eye, do that, make sure that both of them dry and then start the wing because I don't wanna to touch my eyelid and then transfer all of the product. So I'm gonna do the next eye. I'm using the Maybelline Hyper Precise Pen Liner in black. It's really easy to use actually. I've been using it for years. Just this type of pen, it just goes on where it's meant to go on. I can feel it going on there. Okay, time for the wing. Moment of truth. So we're going li to align ourselves with the tape and go. And I don't care if I draw on the tape because that's what it's for. Okay, and then that's a little kid and flick. And then on my other side. Oh. It's always harder on my right side. I bet you guys have a harder eye to do. Right, so I'm gonna shoreline to the tape. We know that we're safe on the tape. Okay, I think that's about right. There's the kittens. Moment of truth. Okay, I'm gonna start from the bottom bit of the face, the bottom bit underneath my eye to the side, and then I'm gonna pull up. Da, 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 da. Yay! Top tips, slow, small strokes really do matter when you're doing your eyeliner. You can tend to get skipping when you're first placing your liner on your top lash line. Please don't worry. Go over and over until you feel like it is one smooth line and be confident with it. It's only makeup, it will wash off. You need a good few practices before you can do it. Tape is a lifesaver. I would not be able to do winged eyeliner without tape as a blind girl. Doing wings can be such a visual thing if you're trying to look in the mirror, but tape makes it just a really tactile, enjoyable experience and it makes it a lot easier to get a really sharp line. The tape just makes sure that your wings are in the right position and also I can line up exactly where I want them. Also, what I would say, if you want a smoky eye, I really love the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil by Urban Decay. And then I just get a blender brush, like a really tiny one, and I just smoke out the lash line. And you don't need any tape for that. And I just literally do a line. I don't do a wing when I'm doing that. And it's really effective. It looks really cool. After I have completed my eyeliner and the wings, I will go in with a thin coat of mascara, usually a travel size one. Really love those travel size mascaras as a blind girl, just purely because I can get closer to my lash line. I can blink onto the brush. It's not massive, so I'm not gonna hit my nose or do anything like that. I really recommend tube mascara. If you get it anywhere on your face, if you can't see properly, it dries down and you can feel exactly where you've messed up. If it's if you transferred it on your eyelid, anywhere on your face, it's fine because you can just scratch it off and it's gone. It Cosmetics Superhero Lash, such a gorgeous tube mascara and I'm using that one at the moment. I'll update you if I have 
any more top faves. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you clicking on my video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Follow me all on my socials. I've got Instagram, Twitter, follow me. I post all the time. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next week for a new one.